was so beautiful, it moved you to tears. So masterful, it left you in awe. So powerful, it changed how you saw the world. This season, we invite you to rediscover the power of art. To the viewers of Public Access, I hope that you'll enjoy the show. Uh, we're doing it today, which is uh, the 21st of uh, November, and we have a particular uh, dance show that's coming to Burlington, to the Flynn Theater, on December 22nd and 23rd. And we're trying to get the word out about the culture and uh, about the dancing of the Chinese uh, Shen Yun, uh, which is going to be happening in Burlington. They've been here in the past. They've come to our studio in the past. And basically, you know, it's been very uh, enlightening uh, and educational for a lot of people in our viewing area. So, uh, first of all, uh, I'll introduce Bob. The last name is Gadru. 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 And he's the volunteer coordinator. Uh, for this organization. And Bob, could you talk about when you started and how it's come up through the years of, uh, uh, that uh, you've been involved? Yeah. Actually, Shen Yun became official, officially went on tour starting in 2008. But in 2006, they formed the, the, the Shen Yun Performing Arts Company. And, and in a way, for the first couple of years, they weren't called Shen Yun. They were called like Chinese New Year Spectacular. And the first time I came, I, I was actually helped behind stage and behind the behind the curtains at that New Year's Spectacular. It was at the Emerson Theater in, uh, I mean, the Majestic Theater, which is part of Emerson College in Boston. And I liked what was happening behind stage. The energy of these dancers, you know, when they took a break or when they went between shows, was was really fantastic. And I liked I liked the way they they were very disciplined. And you know, anyway, so over the years, I started I I stayed with them and I and I started promoting giving presentations for the Shen Yun, which by the way means the spirit or inner beauty of divine beings dancing, Shen Yun. Uh, and I started, um, I, I followed the show very, very meticulously from that, that point on and I volunteered to give presentations, as I said. And every year uh, I'm amazed, how, first of all, how fast it grew. It went from one company, now they have five companies that tour the world. Uh, and They have their own live, all, all of them have their own live orchestra. So, and, and every year, the, the quality just gets better and better and better. I like to say it's like a whole new dimension that's been added to the world of the performing arts. It's, to me, it's that good. So, anyway, um, like I'm retired, I don't have an awful lot to do, but this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing, you know. You don't have to twist my arm. I love to go see the show every year because there's always going to be something new, you know. It's, uh, so, you said this, been, this started in what year? Okay, the Shen Yun Performing Arts Company formed in 2006, but the Shen Yun Show started, went on tour starting in 2008, 2007, December, and 2008 until May, approximately. It's about six months on, on tour. So this will be the 10th year from my math is okay. I think it's going to be the 10th year they're going to be performing. So how many dance groups do you have throughout the United States? Well, in the United States, I know there are two, possibly three, troops, you know, or they call, it, they call themselves touring companies, uh, and we have a couple that go overseas, at least two. I'm not really sure of the breakdown, though, but I know they have at least two in the U.S. because it's too much just for one troop to cover all, all the different cities. Yeah, yeah. it would be because it's yeah. spread out. Now, uh, how many dancers do you have? And then after that, how many people in the orchestra? Because you have to have music. You have music, yeah. Um, so about 40 um, dancers. Maybe a few, uh, maybe around 35 to 40 dancers and about 40 musicians. And then, of course, you have to have a few other people. They have two MCs, a male and a female. They'll introduce each program uh, in Chinese and in English. Um, so, about 80 people is what, what you can, when you go to the website, they'll describe, they'll say about 80 people, you know, for the whole shebang. And, of course, a lot of other people help out, but they're not part of the, you know, like when they arrive, when Shenyun arrives, like, for example, in Boston or in, in, uh, Burlington, there's going to be people who are going to help, like to put up the performers and that kind of stuff. But they won't be part of the they won't be part of the staff. They'll they'll belong to Burlington or to Boston, but they don't go on tour. So around eighty. So it's around eighty. Now, uh, when you take and put on this show, how young is the youngest and how old is the oldest that uh, that are in the show? Well, I or is there a middle age? Well, there's, there's some young ones. I would say there's some upper, late teens. 
up until their thirties. Uh, and a lot of the dancers who originally started dancing are now doing choreography and they're directing and they're teaching. So they, they can stay with the show for many, many years. Yeah. But you've got to be pretty energetic though and pretty supple to do some yeah, of these just movements. The, you know? uh, the stability of all these dancers and flying through the air, you know. Uh, I know. You know, us old fires will never do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I know that um, uh, I just want to make sure that I introduce uh, also T. Chin. She's the director of volunteers. Could you talk a little bit about what you do? Oh, well, um, I try to be the bridge between the singing performing arts and the local, uh, you know, communities. Um, I have been involved since the beginning <clears throat> of our shows. And uh, I remember the first time I went to watch the shows in New York City. I was actually in tears. It was very moving and touching. And uh, I feel like, oh, I got to be involved. You know, this is a wonderful uh, to enhance the cultural diversity in the community. So that's the reason I started, you know. That's good. So you uh, take and coordinate all the people that uh, are the volunteers, right? Yes. Am I, am I right yeah. saying that? Right, yes. And how many volunteers do you have? We don't have uh, too many, you know. Uh, you know, I'm just local, so, you know, uh, not too many, but sometimes we do get help from other areas as needed. So it's pretty much as needed basis, yeah. So uh, and how long have you been involved with this? I've been involved since the beginning of the um, the first time, you know, the singing performing art, um, they, they came to Burlington. The first one was the orchestra. That, that was uh, 2015, about three years ago. Yeah. Uh, so you live uh, in Trenton County? I live, I live yeah, local. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's nice to have, uh, you know, uh, people that are involved in this, some local. And at the same time, don't you feel that you're educating the public on, on the dancing and the culture of what, you know, what this is all about? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, definitely there's educational factor here. Um, of course, the, the dances and the costumes and like the backdrops are very well researched to be authentic. So, you know, of course, we can't recreate the Tang Dynasty, for example, you know, uh, building for building on stage. Yeah. So you use backdrops, you use the dances and, and the colors. Uh, and the music also helps to helps with the effect. But the thing about the Shen Yun is that you, you, to to revive or rebuild, so to speak, a, a, a culture that was almost completely wiped out, the best way to do that is, is to have dancers who can demonstrate the real spirit of that culture. That comes through in these shows. It's a certain kind of very, I call it high level energy. Uh, and it's very real. It, it makes it really uplifts the spirit after you've seen some of the shows. And a lot of people you'll see them crying, you know, even before they they leave. So it's very moving, but it has a lot of energy. But again, uh, that's the beauty about it. Uh, with uh, with just a, a good backdrop and a good choreography, nice costumes, and music, you can recreate a pretty authentic looking scene. And then the feeling is there, which is really what I really enjoy about it. So in your brochure, it says the divine beauty and the profound wisdom of the lost civilization. So basically, this show's about... Yeah, it, it, it goes back, and China has a pretty long history, but very well recorded, about 5,000 years. Um, of course, as the years went by, the dynasties went by, it became more and more information was recorded, but there's an awful lot of information. And initially, and it still is to a certain extent, uh, China is a very spiritual country, not necessarily religious, but spiritual. And they definitely believe in, you know, like things like uh, you have to behave yourself, you know, you have to, you have to get rid of your bad, bad faults and whatnot. It's a very, it's, they call it self-cultivation. Uh, and that's that has been part of the Chinese mentality and society for you know thousands, several thousand years, and that makes a huge difference. Uh, and there's a saying in Taoism: the invisible and the intangible is the Tao, and the visible and tangible is just a container. So a lot of people think, well, Chinese culture. I've seen Chinese culture over there in China, for example, the show. You know, but it's but if, if the invisible and the intangible soul is not there. The, the container is just going to be a container. It won't have that. It won't have that life to it, you know. 
So anyway. So uh, a lot of Americans, uh, you know, uh, to uh, will enjoy the show because it talks about the history yeah. of the dancing and how it came to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's actually an educational type thing. Yeah, I really enjoy watching the reviews, the audience reviews and, and critiques or feedback after the different shows. Uh, you, you'll find these on the, on the Shanian website. Um, these people are really speaking from their heart. They, they tell you what they liked about the show. I can tell you all about it until, you yeah. know. But when they have seen it and they express their feelings, that's, what's really, that's what I really enjoy. And, and every year, a lot of people are really amazed <laughs> that this kind of show can still, you know, still yeah. be around. Could you tell us what the website is so if people want to go there and see testimony? Yeah, uh, shenyun.com, S-H-E-N-Y-U-N dot C-O-M. You can also go to shenyunperformingarts.org, but shenyun.com is the easier one. The easiest one to get. Yeah, and you can just Google it, and, you know, if you don't yeah. Google it in Shenyun. So uh, you seem like uh, Shenyun uh, da dancing has come to Vermont. It seems to be catching on, and people are, you know, uh, are your are your uh, shows all sold out every every year? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's about well received, really. Yeah, yeah. people really enjoying yeah. that. Um, I met people. People will say, "Oh, I saw it," and the, you know, this is the show. It's really touch people's heart. Um, people will talk about it, and uh, they will they really. Uh, it's really unforgivable. You know, you talk about it, and uh, for years. Not just this year, you talk about next year and the year after that. Yeah. So all these different colored uh, the outfits that they got, uh, you must have to have a seatress on, <laughs> on, right. on there because sometimes they, they rip and stuff like that. But they're, they're such a beautiful uh, costume that they, you know, to show their culture is yeah. really outstanding. Every season there's around 400 new sets of costumes and accessories that have to be prepared for the, and of course the dancers have to be individually sized, you know, not all the same yeah. size. And the, so it's, and, and the colors, whoever, whoever in charge of, of the color in the show is really superb artist, you know. All the colors are very dynamic, but they balance each other and they integrate, you know. It's, it's yeah. not, it's not, it's very wise use of color, very tasteful use of color. Now, when these ladies and gentlemen are on the road, uh, they, they must have to, I would just say, uh, stay in shape, you know, uh, because oh. a lot of it's so much physical that they, yeah. know, that, uh, <laughs> they yeah. you know, have to exercise a <laughs> lot. Yeah. I've been, I've, I've watched them warming up, so to speak, before every performance that, you know, that they give. They usually have a half an hour or so, uh, which they, and they, where they warm up. Of course, some of them, sometimes they give two shows a day, and that's quite a workout. Back when they're, back upstate New York, when they're training for the, new, putting together a new show, um, six to eight hours is normal. Of, da of dance training every day, so seven days a week. <laughs> do they only do shows in certain months of the year? And yeah, yeah, six months roughly. They go on tour. I'm going to say between December and May, uh, and then the other six months they're they're training and putting together a new show. Yeah, and I think it takes about six years for one of the dancers to become good enough to be, to appear on one of the, on one of the one of the performances, and ten years to really master it. You know. So yeah. six years to learn how to be a dancer on yeah. Shen Yun. <laughs> Shen Yun, yeah, yeah. Just, just because you can dance doesn't mean you can, you know. Yeah, you got to have your act together yeah. because yeah. this is, uh, how would you say, it's, it's like a, uh, like a car. It all interlocks and, and runs yeah. smooth. Yeah. You know, with yeah. uh, these people, they got to know when to do their you know, their dancing and their performance and stuff like yeah. that. So it's. Yeah. You know, it's not something that you're going to learn, you know, in the first year you're I know. doing this. You know, it's, some of these dances are amazing. Like, the, the, the ladies will be throwing these, uh, like, handkerchiefs around, you know, and they'll and make them all spin and they catch them. All in unison, it's amazing, you know. I'm going to hold my breath, <laughs> you know, but they, you know, it's amazing. Yeah, how, how they, and I, there's one dance, um, it's a Mongolian bowl dance, and sometimes they'll feature that because it's a very popular theme and it's very popular in China. And the dancers will balance three balls on the head. There's nothing holding it in place, no Velcro or anything, you know. But I understand when they practice, they at home even, or also on in their practicing building, they have to keep those on their head for several hours at a time. Do whatever they're going to do: wash the dishes, you know, study whatever. And that would give me a neck ache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, 
Yeah. I, I would imagine if, if, you, if you're doing a good job of balancing it, the pressure will be pretty evenly distributed, I yeah. hope. <laughs> After you've done it for so many years, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. really put together. Uh, when you're, uh, you, you said that when the, uh, the performers come to uh, the Flynn Theater in Burlington, they take and uh, they stay with different people? Or they stay in a motel or? Oh, they stay in, uh, in yeah, in the hotel. In the yeah. hotel, then. yeah. So that way, you know, they're real close by, and they don't have to run. They off. have they have their own uh, the um, routines and the, their own schedules. That they are very busy when it comes. Yeah. They on their tight schedules. Yeah, I, I would think that they're always trying to make the, uh, the themselves better by in their performance, and you know they they have to do it over and over and over again to make sure it's picture perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, in the long run, uh, you see this going on for many years uh, as far as this type of dancing, you know, which I think it, uh, it would because of the fact that you know, you're teaching American people the history of you know, Shen Yun's uh, yeah. the Chinese dancing. I think it's got a fairly long history ahead of it, you know, yeah. I mean, a long future. Uh, of course, they never can predict the future, but nope. um, they, like I said, they went from one company to five in you know less than ten years, about eight <clears> years, <throat> which is amazing. So there's a demand for this kind of thing. People yeah. need, need to be uplifted. You know, a lot of the a lot of the entertainment we see nowadays, in my opinion, it's kind of some of it's off color. It's not all that super enlightening. Yeah. You know, after you see the show, you go, oh, okay, you know, you get excited for a little bit, but then so. In, uh, I think I caught uh, some of the talking with you uh, that basically sometimes it's really enjoyable, but there's also sad scenes in the in the show. Yeah, yeah, so, there, there, you know. there's some sad scenes, you know, because um, the, the Chinese communist regime has been really trying to suppress, uh, actually wipe out traditional Chinese culture for a long time, starting back in the Cultural Revolution, uh, and they put pressure on on uh, Shen Yun itself that they tried to you know have it you know blackball it so to speak uh, and some of these dancers that well, li lived in China some of them uh, actually cultivate themselves in something called Falun Dafa Falun Gong and that's been severely persecuted since 1999 um, and so this like like in ancient China good and evil weren't subjects that were shunned. They were, they were, they were treated artistically. They were, you know, they were brought up in plays. Same thing in the Christianity. You had these medieval mystery plays and miracle plays, you know. Uh, so good and evil is something that uh, these, these shows taught. And so it's the same thing with, with, with uh, Shen Yun. They're giving you, they're talking about traditional Chinese culture, not just the nice glittery stuff, but the whole history of what happened to it, how it was almost wiped out, and now it's coming back full, you know, full steam. So they give a pretty comprehensive picture. So it, it's, it can be sad, yeah. you know, but well, it's not. It doesn't doesn't the leave you sad very long. Picture perfect. No, not yet. <laughs> no, it never will be. Hope uh, you know that it would be. But uh, yeah. now, for instance, uh, people that have a hard time hearing us, older people, uh, do you have uh, accessibility so that they have a thing put in their ear so they can? Uh, they are, you put they those are, down they front? are they they are special seats. Special seat? Yeah, uh, nearby the stage. Okay. So we designate for those pe handicapped people. Yeah. Uh, so people can be on the front row or the second row, depends <laughs> what they choose. So they are actually has a priorities, you know, oh, that's to good. be seated. Yeah. yeah. Because handicapped people would yes. love to see the same show that any normal <laughs> or a human being would want to see. Sure. You know, yeah. uh, some of us, you know, have a hard time hearing. My wife says I got selective hearing, but <laughs> that's besides the point. What would you say, Dave? I didn't quite get that. <laughs> yeah, I wear those little tiny ones inside my ears, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, is there anything that you might want to talk about? You know, uh, I know you're gonna, they're going to be down at the Both Center uh, Wayne Theater. Is, is that in Boston? That's in Boston, yeah. Boston has a small theater district. The show was played before at the Boston Opera House. Wang is, is preferred because it has a wider stage, yeah. uh, which makes a difference for these dancers, you know, but uh, yeah. yeah. And you're also going to be in Providence Performing Arts Center. Yeah, yeah PPAC. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, if anybody's got any questions or want to get updated, uh, they can go to the, the website. And could you say the website again? Yeah, shenyun.com. S-H-E-N-Y-U-N.com. 
And there's, besides, you can learn all about traditional Chinese culture there, about the show, uh, about the dancing, about the different periods in Chinese history. It's, it's quite, you could spend several hours there getting an education before you go to the show even, you know? Yeah. So, Bob, is there anything that I didn't cover that you still want to cover, you know, where you Gosh. still got a uh, couple more minutes if you want to talk about what I may not have asked you? Well, uh, let me let me defer to T for a second here. T, yep. do you have anything you want to add? Well, Burlington is very lucky. Burlington uh, will be the first stop for the 2018 World Tours. Um, so we are able to uh, watch the shows before the rest of the world. Oh. Yeah, so it's very unique. And uh, also this year is right before the Christmas. So it can be, you know, a good for family things. I got go. a question, you know, maybe I'm overstepping my ground. Do the Chinese culture uh, celebrate Christmas? We celebrated a a Christmas way. in different ways, yeah. 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 It's actually it's a legal holiday, but it's a different ways. Yeah. And also because so close to New Year, yeah. so Chinese people do start to shop around the Christmas time. Yeah. Well, I just, I didn't know the answer, so that's why I wanted to ask you, seeing I had an expert. It's, it's a this. wonderful question, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course, Chinese New Year is a, is a big deal throughout yeah. the world, wherever, you know, not just in China, but other countries. And their there. Chinese year is when? We, it, we'll be in February for next year. Yeah. Yeah, so a little different time. Yeah. But because the, the traditional Chinese New Year will be in February, but uh, the Western, you know, the whole world, we've started to celebrate New Year on January 1st. So a lot of Chinese people actually started shop around the Christmas time uh, to prepare. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You know, it's good to know, you know, uh, yeah. different cultures, you know. So uh, you yeah. know, I just thought maybe I should ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, it's a good time for both, you know, Chinese people and the or American people, you know, to watch the show during that time. I just wish throughout the world that we had more peace and, yes. and not all the destruction that we yeah. have in the world. Yeah. You know, and by... The Chinese people coming over here and performing uh, the show. Do uh, at the end of the show, do, uh, are some of them in their, their outfits, you know, uh, shake hands with the people leaving the place or coming into the place? Um, they probably will be very busy, you know, uh, in yeah. the backstage, just like other shows. <laughs> uh, so if people interesting, they can, you know, you know, request earlier and to visit, you know. Uh, to have a cer certain, you know, uh, visiting hours, you know. Yeah, in the past, he didn't we have like a VIP uh, meeting or, or a VIP event, if you want to call it, where some of the dancers came out and met the public, you know, the special little uh, room off the side of the huh. opera house or whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh, I remember the one I went to, the uh, when the dancers came in, you could feel the energy changing and everybody changed, yeah. you know, and they were just gravitated, you know, mesmerized by these dancers because they're very, they're very disciplined, yeah. but they also have some great energy going on inside, you know? I don't know if this, you know, this, I don't know if I could say this is a request. Is there any chance the next time that you guys come up that one of the people could dress up in one of those outfits so we could show, or is that too much to ask for? Well, and that's, you know, uh, during the show time. Yeah. See, they are on the very tight schedules. Yeah. They, like one after another, they, they all book it up. Um, so it's hard for them to come earlier, yeah. you know. Um, but it's a possibility if we make arrangement that, um, you know, you can visit them, you know, or interview them during the show times. Yeah, yes. you know, uh, because it'd be nice even if we even got a five minutes for them just to show the outfits. The, the brochures are outstanding. Yeah. You know, whoever designed them, you know, did an outstanding job. But it'd be nice just to see, you know, if we could get a clip of them or if you guys could make a clip that we could show on our screen and then people could see it in their in their outfits. Even if it's one or two people. So you know, it'd be nice for the next time so that uh, we you know we try to make the show better and better yes. and we try to get more information out to the public. Yeah. Yeah, we can make arrangement for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in advance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. So, Bob, is there anything else we need to talk? You know that I might have not covered. Well, uh, 
So some people might say, well, you know what, I've got these three kids, you know. Well, I think the youngest they, they'll take is four years old. But I never had, a, never heard any problems, we never any problems with the kids in the audience because they love it. You know, the yeah. color alone, you know. And some of these dancers are not just, they're not all that serious, they'd be comical. Um, and so they, and the music, of course, puts them in a good, good mood too. So, and, and all people of all ages and all ethnic groups, all, you know, it's amazing how, how well it's caught on. So it's something for everyone, and of course, what I like about being an old fuddy-duddy, I like the fact that there's nothing off-color or blue about this show. You know, it's it's I call it family-friendly. Family-friendly. Family friendly. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So if anybody wants information, uh, uh, they can go to the website, which is Shun Yu, uh, S H E N Y U M dot com, or they can call the Flint Theater if they want to get tickets. Yeah. Uh, and so. Uh, the show will be December 22nd and 23rd at the Burlington Flint Theater. And come enjoy and, and learn what the history is of the Chinese people and how they yeah. dance. Very good. Other than that, are we all set? We're all set. Okay. To the viewers of Public Access, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And, uh, you know, if you got any questions, go to their website and you can see uh, a lot more that we probably didn't cover, but I hope we did cover, uh, so that you can uh, make uh, inspiration of you know going to the show and, uh, and enjoying it. So to the, to the viewers of Public Access, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this you know part of the show of getting to know uh, what Shun Yu dancing is all about. Thank you, and have a nice day. When was the last time something was so beautiful? It moved you to tears. So masterful, it left you in awe. So powerful, it changed how you saw the world. This season, we invite you to rediscover the power of art. Shen Yun, an all-new program for 2018.